I'm clearing world tier 4 content on a fresh level 50 druid using only the random gear that I got while being power level to 50. These enemies are more than 23 levels above me. I'm gonna try and show you how to use what you have until you can get that perfect build. You might be asking yourself, who's this magnificent creature standing in a pig pen? The answer is a guy trying to help you in Diablo 4. I'm gonna take this fresh level 50 character and the random gear I got while being power level to 50, and I'm gonna show you how to create your own build from almost anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let our gear inform our decisions on what we do with our skills. So first, any of these items I can't actually use, I'm gonna move them out of the way. And let's organize our legendaries into one line so we can actually see what aspects we have available. So the most important thing to build around are the aspects. So let's see what we have. While Hurricane is active, gain plus two ranks to your shapeshifting skills. When you have Fortify, your Earth skills gain plus two ranks. The duration of Earth and Bulwark is increased by six seconds. In addition, killing an enemy with Earth skills replenishes 179 of your active Earth and Bulwark's barrier. I think you guys can already see the pattern this is going. The Earth and Might key passive also applies to your Storm skills. Basic skills gain 60% attack speed. Pulverize creates a shockwave that travels forward, dealing 136% of its damage. Werewolf skills function as storm skills, and werebear skills function as earth skills for the nature's fury key passive. And hurricane damage is increased by 20% each second while active. Based on these, there's a couple of different ways that we can go. The main way I see from this is using Pulverize, which is a meta build. But we don't have to build around the meta build. We can use this just to increase our Pulverize damage but still effectively utilize the rest of our aspects. Another thing to look for is pluses to certain skills on our items. Amazingly, I have plus two to pulverize on these gloves. You're not always gonna get this lucky, but you can still build around what you have. So we're gonna put on our pulverized gloves. It looks like we have a pretty good pulverized weapon here, but because I already imprinted this attack speed onto a random weapon, I think I'll use this weapon for the moment, and we'll see about putting our pulverize onto an amulet. I'm going to shift my inventory around to make sure that the important stuff is off to one side so that I can easily organize my thoughts. We may as well take the defensive bonus from the Earth and Bulwark, as well as the plus two to Earth skills while we have Fortify. The pants we can just throw on, but these other two are going to have to be imprinted. The remaining aspects we have left are Earth and Might applies to Storm skills, which we will use so that our basic attack will apply it. Or alternatively, we could go with this ring in order to get the Nature's Fury bonus. I think we'll go Earth and Might though because I prefer Storm Strike as the basic attack. We actually have a really nice pair of gloves here, so I could reroll the Critical Strike damage with Werewolf skills and try and get Pulverize or something useful. I don't have many items, so I'm just going to throw on a chest piece, a helmet, and two rings. Let's take a look and see which rings are better. This ring's not very good, so we'll put on this ring instead and we'll use the only pair of boots we have. At our occultist, we're going to remove all of the aspects that we plan to put on the build. And we should enchant our items to have the best stats possible before we continue. This helmet's not worth re-rolling because every stat is bad, so we're gonna move on to the next. This chest piece is decent for us, so we're gonna re-roll the poison resistance. We're not rolling multiple times, we're just trying to get something usable. We'll reroll strength in the gloves. The pants I already rerolled while I was leveling. The same with the boots, and the same with the weapon. For the amulet, we'll check stone guard and make sure that it's something that's useful for us, which it is. So we'll reroll healing received. So I'm just going to choose the shrine buff duration and leave it where it is because it's not a good item. On our ring, I already rolled Vulnerable while I was leveling up, and crit chance on the other ring. Now that we've re-rolled everything, I'm going to upgrade our gear. If you're strapped for resources, just take these up to 4, but if you know you have enough, you may as well go all the way up. I'm not going to on this item, because this one was particularly bad. And the same thing for your accessories. Don't forget that you can also add sockets to everything. This build is utilizing Hurricane, so we'll put damage to crowd-controlled enemies in our weapon. We're also using Fortify, and our accessories should be Skulls. While imprinting, don't forget that you have access to your Codex of Power, so you can use additional aspects depending on the dungeons you've cleared. I'm not going to do that, so that this is a better example of where you might be at. So we're going to put these aspects on the best items that we have. 
Our helmet is completely trash, as well as our boots. So we're going to put these on the chest piece and our accessories. Don't forget your amulet gets a plus 50% bonus and your two-hander gets a 100% bonus to the aspect. So prioritize based on what you want the most of. For our amulet, we're using pulverize. And for our rings, we're using hurricane damage is increased. And we're unfortunately replacing the aspect on our other ring because we don't have an additional offensive slot. But that's fine because we can't use two key passes. Now that we've sorted out our gear, let's build around that. We know that we can trigger our key passive with storm skills now. So we're going to use Storm Strike, and we don't have access to the Exploit Glyph yet, so we're going to use Fierce Storm Strike. Under Core Skills, we're going to choose Pulverize, and we're going to get Enhanced Pulverize and Primal Pulverize. Under our Defensive Tree, we're going to get Earthen Bulwark, Enhanced Earthen Bulwark, and Preserving Earthen Bulwark, as well as Blood Howl for the additional healing, and Spirit. We still need multiple points before we can make our way down to our next category, so we're going to go back up here, and we're going to put points into our Pulverize to improve that. Now that we have access, to our wrath skills, grabbing our hurricane, enhanced hurricane, and savage hurricane. We have the aspect that increases the damage of hurricane for every second it's active, so we're going to put one point into elemental exposure and three points into endless tempest. Since we've already built into endless tempest, we can now take cataclysm as our ultimate. We still need seven points before we can access our key passive, so we're going to go up and put points into useful passives. We'll take three points into Predatory Instinct for the critical hit. We'll put one point into Heart of the Wild. Put three points into Wild Impulses. And three points into Abundance, because we have high attack speed. Now that we've grabbed those, we've opened up our key passives. We decided to build around Earthen Might, so we're going to choose this. We still have a lot of points to spend, so let's find places that they're useful. We're scaling our Hurricane Damage, so let's fill the points in that and three points into Bad Omens, since we know we're going to be hitting vulnerable enemies a lot of the time. We want to make sure we're fortified, so we're going to grab one point into Crushing Earth, and three points into Safeguard. We're using Storm Strike as our basic attack, so we get good synergy with Defiance, Natural Disaster, and Resonance, which we're maxing. We're going to be using our defensive skills quite a bit, so I'm going to take one point into Ancestral Fortitude, and three points into Vigilance. We have one point left over, so I'm going to put it into Charged Atmosphere because I like the lightning bolts hitting things around me. I made all of these decisions while recording, so this may not be the best build, but it's a good start for what we have. I'm grabbing Wariness, Avian Wrath, Energize, Obsidian Slam, and Calm Before the Storm. And don't forget to hit up the wardrobe so you don't look like someone who should have a big bowl of fruit on their head. And of course, you've got to make your horse match. Perfection! Now I'm going to fight some mobs in World Tier 4 just to show that the build can function. Keep in mind these mobs are 23 or more levels above me, so it should be difficult. Hopefully this helps you guys build your characters better. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I'm also open to suggestions for future videos. You can catch me live on my Twitch, which is linked below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. It's very bad, so I'm just going to choose Shine... So I'm just going to choose the Shine...